All right, so this video, kind of like the last one, is just going to be a really quick introduction to a topic, and um, just before we start using it more, kind of in more complex ways. So we're going to look at the population proportion. So I'll explain what that means. So say the just some symbols first. The population proportion p. This is what we want to find. So what we want, and then the sample proportion, which is p hat. That's how you pronounce it, p hat. I'm just going to say it's what we measure what we measure to estimate p. Okay, so I'll go through the example and explain how those sort of tie in. So this green example down here, we want to find out how many students study higher level Irish. So say for example, we ask 500 students um, what they study, do they study higher level or lower level Irish, all right? So for example, 155, say they study higher level Irish, all right? So that means that our, I'll go red, that our p hat, our sample proportion, so remember this is the sample, we picked a sample of 500 people, sample, the population is everyone in Ireland, so the sample proportion is equal to 155 over 500. So stick that into a calculator, you'll get about 0 0.31 as your answer. And so that means, so I'll write that there, p hat is equal to 0 0.31, so basically what you're doing then is you're saying that we can estimate that P, which is the population proportion, is about equal to 0 0.31. So about 30% of people in Ireland study higher level Irish. So this is a really just an estimate just to show you how um, the population and the sample proportion work. And um, so that's what we're trying to guess, how many people in Ireland actually do it. And we know this for certain because we asked 500 people. Um, so we're going to look at ways in the next videos where we're going to do confidence intervals to get a better estimate for P. So instead of just saying it's about 0 0.31, we can put definite boundaries. We can construct an interval, it's called, that we know that P is going to be somewhere in that boundary, in those limits. And to do that, we're going to use the margin of error, which we learned in the last video. But yeah, that's really it for just the sample proportion, just so you get the idea that a proportion is just the amount of people that said yes over the total, and that'll give you your, your proportion. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. In the next video, we're going to start looking at confidence intervals, uh, and that's where it's going to get a little bit more difficult compared to the last few videos. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and share the video with your friends.